Hello friends, I am Rizal Soni. In our previous videos, we have discussed about the performance of binary octet and hexadecimal calculator. Arduino Uno is the main component of the calculator. Today, we will discuss about its technical specification, spin diagram and main features. The concept and presentation of this video is made by Dhenuka Kashmire, one of the internship student of MSc final year. Today, I am presenting this video on behalf of her. Let us know about microcontroller and Arduino. A microcontroller is a compact integrated circuit designed to govern a specific operation in an embedded system. A typical microcontroller includes a processor, memory and input output peripherals on a single chip. Arduino Arduino is an open source platform used for building electronics projects. Arduino consists of both physical and programmable circuit boards and a piece of software or integrated development board which is also called IDB that runs on our computer, used to write and upload computer code to the physical board. Unlike most previous programmable circuit boards, the Arduino does not need a separate piece of hardware. In order to load new code into the board, you can simply use a USB cable. Additionally, the Arduino IDB uses a simplified version of C++, making it easier to learn a program. The UNO is one of the most popular boards in the Arduino family. The Arduino is an open source microcontroller board based on the microchip 8Mega328P where P stands for Pico Power Microcontroller and developed by Arduino.cc. The board is equipped with a set of digital and analog input output or I.O. pins and that may be interfaced to various expansion boards and other circuits. It is also similar to the Arduino, Nano and Leonardo. The UNO board and version 1.0 of Arduino software were the reference versions of the Arduino. The UNO board is the first in a series of USB boards. It communicates using the original SPK500 protocol. Uh, now let us talk about the pin description of the Arduino UNO. Arduino UNO has 14 digital input output pins or the I.O. pins, 6 analog input pins, a USB connection, a power barrel jack, an ICSP header and a reset button. First we will talk about power pin. Their name are respectively VIN, 3.3V, 5V and GND. VIN is called input voltage to Arduino. 3.3V is 3.3V supply generated by onboard voltage regulator maximum current drawn is 50mA. 5V 5V regulated power supply used to power microcontroller and other components. GND is the ground pin. Analog pins There are total 6 analog pins from A0 to A5 which are used to provide analog voltage ranging from 0 to 5V. Input output pins or the I.O. pins There are total 14 digital input output pins ranging from 0 to 13 which can be used as an input or output pins. Now serial pin 0RX, 1TX, which is used to transmit and receive TTL data, which is also called transistor transistor logic serial data. External interrupts 2 and 3 to trigger an interrupt. PWM, whose full form is pulse width modulation from 3, 5, 6, 9, 11, provide 8 bit PWM output. Let's talk about SPI pins. There are total 4 SPI pins. First is 10SS, the full form is slave select. 11th is MOSI, master out slave in, 12th is MISO, master in slave out, 13th is SCK which is serial clock. SPI pin which is also called serial peripheral interface is used for the SPI communication. Another pin is inbuilt LED pin. The number 13th pin is inbuilt LED which is used to turn on the inbuilt LED. TWI two wire interface there are two twi pins first is a4 which is sda serial data and the second is a5 which is sca sneak circuit analysis these are used for twi communication and the last pin is a ref which is also called reference pin a reference pin is used to provide reference voltage for input voltage let us talk about the technical description of the arduino uno in this device, we have used 8Mega328P as the microcontroller chip. We can provide a 7V to 12V of input voltage to the machine and, and gets the output of 5V since the voltage regulator is used in the device so that we will get an output fixed voltage of 5V. 
In this device, the speed of the CPU is of 16 megahertz. There are total six analog pins, input pins, and 14 digital pins, out of which six are used for pulse width modulation. This machine uses a EP-ROM, which is also called Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory of 1 kilobyte. SRAM, which is also called Static Random Access Memory of 3 kilobyte, and a flash memory of 32 KB. The current which flows on input-output pins is of 40 mA. Here we will talk about input voltage limit. Generally, we use 7 to 12 volt as the input voltage, but the machine can handle the voltage ranging from 6 to 20 volt. Now, let us talk about the features of the Arduino Uno board. It is an easy USB interface, which means this allows interface with USB as this is like a serial device. The second feature is the chip on the board plugs straight into your USB port and supports on your computer as a virtual serial port. The benefit of this setup is that serial communication is an easy protocol which is time based and USB makes connection with modem computer and makes it compatible. The third feature of the machine is it is easy to find a microcontroller brain which is the Atmega 328P chip. It has more number of hardware features like timers, external and internal interrupts, PWM pins and multiple sleep modes. The fourth feature of the machine is, it is an open source design and the advantage of being open source is that it has a large community of people using and troubleshooting it. This makes it easy to help in debugging projects. Fifth feature is, it is a 16 MHz clock which is fast enough for more applications and does not speeds up the microcontroller. The sixth feature of the machine is, it is very convenient to manage power inside it and it had a feature of built-in voltage regulation. This can also be powered directly off a USB port without any external power. You can connect an external power source of up to 12V and this regulates it to both 5V and 3.3V. The seventh feature of the machine is, there are 13 digital pins and 6 analog pins. This short of pin allows you to connect hardware to your software Arduino Uno board externally. These pins are used as a key for extending the computing capability of the Arduino Uno into the real world. Simply plug your electric devices and sensors into the sockets that correspond to each of these pins and you are good to go. Eighth feature is, this is an ICSP, in circuit serial programming connector for bypassing the USB port and interfacing the Arduino directly as a serial device. This port is necessary to reboot load your chips if it corrupts and can no longer use to your computer. Ninth feature of the machine is, it has a 32 kilobyte of flash memory for storing your code. And the 10th feature of the machine is, an onboard LED is attached to the digital pin 13 to make fast the debugging of code and to make the debug process easy. Finally, it has a button to reset the program on the chip. Now, we have successfully talked about the features of the Arduino Uno. Now, we will talk about its uses. Tons of applications can be created using an Arduino board. Some of the important applications are first in robotics, in 3D printer and then in phototyping. As you can see, this is our final project report. We have already talked about microcontroller, Arduino Uno, its pin description, technical specification, main features and its uses. Now. Let's take a look at the schematic diagram of the Arduino Uno. Here we have used a chipset of Atmega 328P as a microcontroller. We have total 6 analog input pins from A0 to A5. Now we have total 14 digital input output pins from 0 to 13. This is the external power source from 7 to 12 volt DC. This is the USB where we have to plug to a computer. Now we have voltage input, ground, SV power pin and pin for reserve future purposes. We have voltage regulator here and a reset button here. Here we have power LED, a clock which runs on 16 megahertz and ICSP in circuit serial programming. Okay, so let's have a look at the real machine. This is the Arduino Uno 328P. Here. We have analog pins ranging from A0 to A5. There are total 6 analog pins. 
which provides the input analog signal. The pin number A6 and A7 are reserved for future purposes. These are the 14 digital output pins ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 13. This is the ground pin and this is the A reference pin. As you can see, these six ports are there. These are used for GND, MOSI, VCC, Reset, SCK and MISO. This is the USB port. You can see here. This is the external power supply. This is voltage regulator. And this is the clock running at 16 megahertz. These are the ICSP ports and this is the reset button. And these rest of the pins are not considered for our project. And as you can see, this is the LED which is near to the pin number 13. For our projects, we made programs using Arduino software in an external computer and then uploaded it on Arduino through this USB port. After this, we connected it to hardware pins of the calculator. Now, calculator will perform and execute the pre-written program for various calculations. As you can see, these are the different hardware pins for binary calculator, octal calculator and hexadecimal calculator. In binary calculator, we have four operational keys respectively representing dividation, multiplication, subtraction and addition. There are eight analog keys for feeding binary numbers. Similarly, in octal calculator, we have six operational keys and 10 input keys for inserting numbers. And in hexadecimal calculator, we have five operational keys and 16 input keys which are used for inputting data in microcontroller. All these hardware pins are connected to the microcontroller Arduino Uno 328P. Now coming to the conclusion, today we have first discussed about the microcontroller Arduino Uno. We have talked about its pin description as what is the name of the respective pin and its purpose. We have talked about its technical specifications, its main features and its uses. I hope this video will be useful for understanding the working of Arduino Uno 328P. So in the next video, we will talk about the programming of Arduino for binary octal and hexadecimal calculator. So please wait for our next video. Thank you for watching this video.